So things have been farmed, items have been purchased, and I know I promised we we're gonna go back to the demon ruins, but I wanna go find that other NPC. And I'm pretty sure she's here in the Valley of the Drakes. And we don't need to go in there. But I think we do need to go up there. But there's also... Oh, thanks. A big ol' uh... Big ol' undead dragon like um <sighs> I'm sure it'll go fine Are you just gonna let me pass I'm gonna grab this and then Maybe it's actually dead. Nope. Ooh. Way meaner than the last one. We're gonna kill you. <laughs> End up throats again. with our shield this time, since we're getting a lot of physical attacks. Like that. <laughs> That's to be expected. That's a brutal fight place. I don't know if you can see the uh there's that little like lip and I Oof a man. I don't wanna lose those souls in humanity. It's been so long We're trying to get it. I mean, the souls are fine. It's mostly the humanity that I don't want to lose. Let this be a lesson. If you ever find a sleeping corpse, just murder it and gear hits it while you can. Both the dark souls are So, so it's right up there. Oh, he moves now. He's just awake. Maybe. That guy. Fuck that guy. Oh, well, there goes that. <laughs> Damn it. I said it just ran. Well, okay. If we 
we've lost the humanity, then so be it. We've got just enough. We've got just enough in stock. So, that's good news. It'll cost us everything. I like having humanity around because it means that I can kindle bonfires when I want, obviously, and it also means that I can do summons if I want and need. Oh, the freaking if they just couldn't follow me up here because it's okay that's good to know I was gonna say this seems real thin for some things like that he's missing his back legs poor guy run past that dragon for now, just to even see, see if the person I'm looking for is there, and then we can come back and smack it. Bane of my existence is fighting in tight quarters. So, first things first, just curious, I would be shocked if it was possible, but he literally uses one. Just for my own edification.
Vale. said he uses poison this is his main thing so it seemed unlikely but for you. It's so hard to keep track of all of these little things. Oh no. Oh, this is where Witch Beatrice died. Ah. One of my greatest allies and companions. So, somewhere in here... Vaguely, like, I'm not sure where exactly in the Valley of the Drakes. I thought it was here. You would meet an NPC. <clears throat> Quelana. Who's actually one of the daughters of Isolith. Then you would start a whole thing, she would send you... She would have things that she wanted you to do. Maybe she doesn't... Rock here? Let me... I'm gonna Google real quick just to make sure I haven't missed her. <laughs> like, I've missed so much. Um... <clears throat> She spawned... Oh, wait. By a large stone pillar between the shores of the legs. Second water wheel leading to the Valley of the Drakes? Maybe she's not out here. Okay, well, let's quickly head in towards... Second water wheel. I thought she was out here in the Valley of the Drakes, but maybe she's actually in Light Town. We can come back. Okay.
Nope, that's not what I wanted. I have habits from Sekiro still, where it's like, I want to gather the items so I hold X and then I drink an Estus. Second water wheel, second water wheel. So, toxic guys were, and that, that's a water wheel. Okay, the second water wheel. Now we're... Make sure which one's first, versus I approach from one side or the other. Large stone pillar between the shore of Pelex domain and the second floor wheel. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. That's fine. So she's towards the bottom, so. didn't happen. <laughs> so the person we're going to meet is actually, if you decide to be a pyromancer, um, she's an important person to get, because she can teach you pyromancies and upgrade your pyromancy flame and all kinds of things. This is down to the demon ruins, right? We go the other way. Yeah. I'm not here for demon ruins. I'm here for poison hell. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm coming for you, hell.
Oh god, it's so much nicer. Okay, pillar. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Yeah. Fascinating. I am Quelana of Isadil. I am not often with you. <gasps> yes. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Like Salomon? I don't know if it matters. Yes, but. of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my <coughs> But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? So, she'll sell stuff. Um, some of these are pretty cool. Um, Firestorm, I want to say, is the one that was just wrecking us. Uh, King Jeremiah. We just shot pillars out of the ground. Um, <coughs> pretty sure that was him. Anyway, cool stuff. Um, things worth noting. She sells no chaos pyromancies. That's lore important. And she's got this spell which um, allows you to charm undead into temporary allies. She can also upgrade your pyromancy flame. Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over 200 years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you in your world. Mm. He was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. <clears throat> pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame. Lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Pyromancy, but all I would hate. No luck. Hmm. Well, young pupil, you must have patience, but do not keep me waiting much longer. <laughs> so, I'm not entirely sure how we'll get her dialogue going. Let me see if it's just something I can do. If I can get it done now, I'll get it done now. I'm not sure how to get her to have the dialogue. I'll come back later and see if something goes down. Um, <laughs> but, so that's Quailana. So if you remember, when we first got in, there was that giant demon. I think we called him Chuck. Um, the son of... At least one son? Ambiguous how many children she had. Um, some number of daughters and at least one son. Anyway, um, that's the son of Isolith. And uh, he doesn't do anything to you. He just sort of stands there um, until you move an item. And the item is a set of robes. And those are the robes of his sister, Quailana, who it would appear faked her death and escaped. Um, and now exactly the how and the why of that it wouldn't be clear at this point. Um, you could uh, 
she's going to give you a story, let's say, about uh, <clears throat> escaping a monstrous transformation. And it's believable. I mean, look at this place. It's covered in spider eggs. This dude's... This dude's having a time of it. Her sister is bound into a wall and dying of poison. Like, there's a lot, right? So it's not hard to accept her story, but <clears throat> there's there's reason to question it, question her motives. Um, she sends you down here hoping to kill her siblings, let's say. Okay, so I think we have to enter the covenant with her. So if you remember right, she... It's not that she's mute, it's that we can't understand what she's saying. Okay, one second. Do, 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 do. Where live is our humanity? So we're gonna have to use all of them. Every single humanity we have. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed. So, just to be, we'll offer five. And our thing deepens. And we still can't hear her. I wonder if it's at 10, maybe. We have to go. Alright, I'll try 15, and if not, we're just going straight to 30. We got the sweet chaos storm, Pyromancy. Maybe I have to be egg-infected, too. <sighs> That's entirely possible. You again. There is nothing to say to you, except if you lay a hand on the fair lady, you should be prepared to face my wrath. <laughs> mm, fair. Ah! Again, the things I do for lore. I'll figure that out on the back end. So these things can be so complicated. I think we may need to be infected by... that same egg stuff that he's got. It's not quite as bad as it is for him. You don't become like a bent thing. I think you just get a goofy thing on your head. Um... But, she's got dialogue. She can speak. She'll tell you some things.
so much running. Centipede monsters. I hate them so. I, uh. Actually looked up strategies on those because I had so much trouble. I was like, how do other people deal with these? Uh, basically, what I, the conclusion that I came to was if you're a melee character, you don't. Um, you're just kind of screwed. Which is unfortunate, but so be it. We'll just keep with our poison arrow strat. sleepy. That's not helping any of this. I didn't rest at that bonfire, did I? It'd be so sad if I didn't. God, okay. Alright. I'm making serious mistakes. <laughs> Frustrating run-through-the-world mistakes. Ooh. So, I'm gonna take a break here. And then <laughs> go to the store, drink some coffee, get my head in the game, kill those dudes, make our way into the demon ruins <laughs> for real. Oh, what a good episode. Watch James run around, not kill things, and fail to find all the stuff he wants. Gross. <laughs> 